Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your name. Thank you for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. It is Saturday, November 27th, uh, 2021. Glory to your mighty name. Thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Let me go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray for your presence, Lord, and we pray for your anointing, Father God. Lord, we pray for your mercy and your grace, Lord. Jesus, we pray for strength. We pray for your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, that we will always rightly divide the word of truth in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray that you bless this ministry, Father God. Bless the leadership, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let us strive for perfection, Father God. Let us strive for holiness, and let us strive for righteousness, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you for the anointing in prayer, in the deliverance and the healing in prayer, Lord. We bind up and we eradicate these mind-snatching demons in the name of Jesus. We bind every spirit of a nervous breakdown. We bind every spirit mm, of suicide and depression in the name of Jesus. We bind up and we eradicate self-mutilation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bind up deception in the mind when people are trying to get sex changes we bind it up and we cast it out in the name of jesus now lord bring forth this word with power anoint me to bring it forth with clarity with wisdom knowledge and understanding that i always rightly divide the word of truth that i will always speak boldness and courage and righteousness and sanctification father god in the name of Jesus, we pray that we not just know this word, we pray that we live this word and we apply this word to our everyday life, Father. Not just on the good days, but even on the bad days. Lord, we praise you and we magnify you in the name of Jesus. Now stir up the Holy Ghost on the inside of us, Father God. Give us the discernment that we need. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to your mighty name. I want to uh, hit on the subject that I hit on a little bit this morning. Hallelujah. And this is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 3. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Hallelujah. To do justice and judgment unto the Lord is more acceptable than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. You got to understand something. Thank God for fasting. Thank God for sacrifice. But the most important thing is, whoo, glory to God. It's better for you to do justice and judgment. Justice, hallelujah. Be right. Judgment, make sure you judge right. You don't go along with the crowd or the, uh, uh, the majority of the people just because it's the majority of the people. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory. To your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's go back to Proverbs chapter 3. I mean, chapter 21, verse 3. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. To do justice and judgment. Justice is really about being holy. It's about being righteous. Judgment is the judgment that you make. You want your judgments according to according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Now, there's nothing wrong with sacrifice, but if you're sacrificing unto the Lord and you don't have justice and judgment, glory to God, what good is your sacrifice for? 
Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. If, glory to God, if you sacrifice unto the Lord, but you have no justice and you have no judgment, justice, what is justice? Justice is doing what you're supposed to do, doing what is right in the eyes of the Lord according to his word. Judgment is how do you apply yourself to certain things? How do you act and how do you talk and how do you judge things? Are you judging things according to the word of God, even when it's not popular? It's not popular to tell somebody, you need to stay married, fight for your marriage. Hallelujah. I know there are circumstances where you don't have no choice and your spouse is just acting up and they just, and you've been there and, and you, you've done all you could. And at some point you just got to say, okay. I understand that, but you need to fight for what God has given you. Stop giving up on a fight that you know God has given you. You have to fight. Remember, we already know the battle was won. So we fight knowing that we've already won. That's why when people really have a relationship with God, when you get discouraged, glory to God, you know you have already won. So what do you do? You got to weather the storm. Sometimes the storm lasts much longer than you want the storm to last. But you're going to weather the storm. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Why you going to weather the storm? Because you're going to do your best to do justice and judgment that is acceptable and to the Lord. Justice and just justice and judgment. Justice is what do you do? How do you do? God will justify you. Judgment is where you come along and what are you judging according to the word? As you judge according to his word and you apply his word to your judgment, hallelujah, God will justify you and he will judge you for how you judge certain things. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hmm. <clears throat> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and read... Uh, 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 verse one and two. Hallelujah. Let's read verse one, two, and three. Uh, Proverbs chapter 21. We're going to read verse one, two, and three. And it says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the river of water. He turneth it where so whatsoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. But the Lord pondereth the heart. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Now, we uh, talked about it in the morning service today. Hallelujah. It says, every way of a man, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. But the Lord ponders the heart. The Lord ponders the heart. The Lord is searching your heart. What motive are you doing this in? Yes, you may be telling on somebody, but are you telling on them so they can get right? Or are you telling on them so they can get in trouble and you can get them out your way? Lord Jesus, hallelujah. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. You got to understand that. To do justice and judgment. Justice is how you live. That's part of justice. Your judgment is how you judge certain things and judge people. That's more acceptable than the sacrifice that you're giving God when you are fasting or you are giving up something, that's a sacrifice. 
and ain't nothing wrong with it. You are supposed to fast. You are supposed to pray. You are supposed to sacrifice. But sacrifice don't mean anything if you don't have justice and judgment. If you are not living right, your sacrifice is in vain because everything has to line up according to God's word, according to what he tells you you can do and can't do. I know we're human. I know we can do whatever we want to do. We have free choice. So my free choice is to do justice and judgment. Hallelujah. It's more, it is better than sacrifice. Now you still need to pray. You still need to fast. You still need to sacrifice certain things. Hallelujah. But if you're not living right, your sacrifice is in vain. You can be fasting, but it's in vain. Hallelujah. Let's go on over to Isaiah 58 and 1. Whoo, glory to your name. Isaiah 58. And 1. Hallelujah. Let me start off at verse 1, and we're going to do a little bit of reading. It says, cry out loud and spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. Mm. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Mm. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exact all your labors. Now he's telling you in verse three, mm -hmm. you have fasted and you still don't see glory. Mm -hmm. You have afflicted your soul and you still have not taken no knowledge. Hallelujah. Whoo. So you're fasting. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you still do not see. Mm -hmm. You afflicted your own soul, and you still don't take any knowledge in. Mm. And even though mm. in the day of your fast, ye find pleasure and exact all your labors. You, exact, you are telling your workers, your slaves, your employees, you have to work. But now you're fasting and you're doing stuff that you like to do. Fasting is bringing your soul and your spirit and especially this flesh under subjection. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Verse 4, he said, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. And to smite with the fist of wickedness, ye shall not fast as ye do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. So now when we go back, whoo, glory to God, mm, to Proverbs 21 and 3. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. And he tells you right here in Isaiah 58 and 4, Behold, you fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day. Mm. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. To make your voice to be heard on high. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. So now, when you are sacrificing, and we just going to hit fasting a little bit, 
Are you fasting for strife and debate? Mm. Glory to God. Are you fasting mm. to smite with the fist of wickedness? Mm. Whoo, glory to God. So your sacrifice is in vain because you're fasting for the wrong reasons. And you also need to know why you are fasting. Glory to God. I understand sometimes God will tell you to go ahead, go on a fast. You may not necessarily know why he told you, so you just do it because he told you to do it. Hallelujah. And God may not give you the revelation of the fast until after you get off. It could be a couple of weeks later. It can be months later. Hallelujah. Days later, years later. Hallelujah. Mm. So we have to, whoo, glory to God. We have to make sure that we do justice and judgment the right way. To do justice and judgment. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Mm. Let's go to Isaiah. 56 and 1. And he tells you, Thus said the Lord, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness mm, to be revealed. So he's telling you, Thus said the Lord, Keep ye judgment. He's telling you to keep the judgment and do justice for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Mm. Let's read verse two. Whoo, blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Did you understand that? Let's read verse one and two again. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 56, we're going to read verse one and two. Thus said the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice for my salvation is near to, to come and my judgment to, to be revealed. Mm. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. It says, keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Glory to God. So justice and judgment is better than sacrifice. But if you have justice and judgment and sacrifice, how much power are you going to have? And how much anointing can you have? Hallelujah. Can God really use you in the, air, in the area of miracles, in the area of signs and wonders, in the area of, of healing? Listen, even in the area of raising the dead. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, verse 2 said, blessed is the man that doeth this. Blessed is the man that doeth this. Blessed is the man that keep justice and judgment. Keep justice and keep judgment. Justice is you doing right. Is you doing the best you can to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. It's mean doing the best you can in everything that you're doing. And then you have to judge righteously. Mm. Judging righteously, especially when you're judging yourself, it's kind of hard because you don't want to say that you're wrong. And you don't want to go tell this person that you're sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I asked you, you know, to forgive me. Whoo, glory to God. It is hard to get up to tell somebody that I'm sorry, I'm wrong. 
Hallelujah. Glory to your name. We talked about your pride, but some people, we talked about it this morning. Some people, their pride is going to take you to hell because you know you wrong. God told you to repent. God told you to ask that person to, uh, to go up to them and tell them that you're sorry, that you were wrong, and you still won't do it. So even if God told you to go up to that person and say, hey, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm asking you to forgive me. Make sure you do it with a meek and humble spirit. Do it with the right spirit. But even if that person does not accept your apology, you have done what the Lord have told you to do. You are released from that. But sometimes our pride be like, no, I'd rather go to hell before I tell that person I'm sorry. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. So let's understand this. Whoo, glory. Mm. Glory, glory, glory. Verse two said, blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of man that layeth hold on me. The son of man that layeth hold on justice and judgment. Glory to your mighty name. I said to lay hold on the justice and judgment. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm. Whoo, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that we have justice and judgment in our life, that we have it in our spirit and in our mind, Father. We pray for a meek and humble spirit in Christ Jesus. We also pray for the boldness in Christ Jesus, not in and of ourselves, but in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Glory to your name. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Woo! I'm going to give you two more scriptures. Let's go to Psalms 83, 82 and 3. Psalms chapter 82, verse 3. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory. Whoo, Psalm chapter 82, verse three. Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Hallelujah, listen, Psalms 82 and three. Defend the poor and the fatherless to do to do justice to the afflicted and needy. Let's read verse four. Deliver the poor and the needy. Mm. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Mm. Woo, glory to your name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Romans chapter 13 and 7. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Romans chapter 13 and verse 7. Glory. Remember, we're talking about justice and judgment is better than sacrifice. So how do we have that balance of justice and judgment with sacrifice? If you have justice and judgment, meaning you judging right and your justice is how you live and how you walk and how you talk is really talking about your lifestyle hallelujah how are you living are you living according to the word and your justice and now that's your justice and your judgment is is again how you live how you walk and how you talk is also how you judge people and how you judge things you don't want to judge 
out of your flesh. You want to judge in the spirit. You want the discernment that's on the inside of you to rise up. Hallelujah. To say yay or nay. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Mm. Let's go to Romans 13, chapter 13, verse 7. Mm. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Justice is enjoyed. He said, render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Mm. Listen, glory to God. Fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. That's part of justice and that's part of judgment. Hallelujah. Let's read verse eight. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. For he that loved one another has fulfilled the law. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Remember, I told you earlier, who glory to God, that you want to judge in the spirit. You want to hear in the spirit, and you want to see in the spirit. You want to rely on your spiritual hearing more than your natural hearing. You want to rely on your spiritual eyesight more than in your natural eyesight. Glory to God. And you only can do that if you have a relationship with Almighty God, Christ Jesus. Mm. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 11. Mm. Woo. Mm. Let's read a verse, uh, verse uh, two and three. Isaiah chapter 11, verse two and three. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon me. Hallelujah. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. So when you have justice and judgment, this is what's resting on you. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, that's where the judgment come in. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel, that's also where justice and judgment comes in and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. You've got to have some kind of fear of the Lord. I'm not talking about you walking on eggshells. I'm not talking about, oh, you so terrified all the time. I'm not talking about that. God has, God loves you. Hallelujah. He loves you. You need to have some kind of fear of your parents. Lord Jesus, let me keep going. Let me keep going. Let's go to first three. And this, I want you to hear. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. And mm, shall make him a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Mm. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. So understand this. Hallelujah. Justice and judgment. Whoo! Mm. And it shall make him a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. So after the sight of his eyes. Mm. Glory to God. Because he's not looking at his natural sight. He want to look on a spiritual sight. 
He's not hearing out of his natural ears. He want to hear spiritually. He want to judge righteously. He want to have, he want the spirit of might and the spirit of counsel. He want the spirit, hallelujah, of wisdom and understanding. Mm. Glory, hallelujah. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your name. So now, mm, to do justice and judgment, the seven spirits of the Lord can and will rest upon you. Mm, glory to God. It can and it will rest upon you. Hallelujah. But you got to have justice and you got to have judgment. That is better than sacrifice. But once you have justice and you judgment, the spirit of counsel and might will come upon you. The spirit of wisdom and understanding will come upon you. The fear of the Lord and might will come upon you. And now when you hear, you're not hearing just with your natural ears. You're hearing with your spiritual ears. And when you see, you're not seeing with your spiritual, uh, uh, you're not seeing with your natural eyes. You're seeing with your spiritual eyes. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 4 in Isaiah 11, chapter 11, verse 4. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equality for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth. Glory. And with the breath of his lips shall he lay shall he slay the wicked. So he's telling you right here, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equality for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips. Shall he slay the wicked. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. More than anything, you want to do your best to have your lifestyle lined up with the word of God. To do your best. Hallelujah. I know we all got issues. We all got something we got to struggle with. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if we line our life up with the best, mm, according to the word, with the best of our to the best of our ability god will honor that glory to your mighty name hallelujah god will and shall honor that he tells you this mm. hallelujah in verse four but with righteousness shall he judge the poor with righteousness shall you judge the poor and reprove with equality for the meek of the earth, and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips. Mm. Shall he slay the wicked? Let's read verse five. And the rack and the righteousness shall be a girdle to his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. His reins just mean his mind. Whoo, glory to God. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Whoo, glory to God. Let's read verse five again. And righteousness shall be his girdle to his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his brains. Hallelujah. Faithfulness. Faithfulness in God is better than sacrifice. That's justice and that's judgment. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory, glory, glory. Woo! Glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Now, hey, glory to God. Let's go to Luke 6 and 46.
Hallelujah. And this is another thing why we want to do justice and judgment. Because Jesus said, mm, in Luke 6 and 46, it says this. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Mm. Let's read that again, Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? That's justice and judgment. So now you may be fasting, but you you're fasting for strife and debate. And God said, Jesus said, why call me Lord, Lord, and you do not the things which I say? Why? You ain't even trying to live right. I know you a man. I know you live in your flesh, but are you actually trying to live right? Are you trying to live holy? I know we got a taste of certain things in the world that we shouldn't be doing. We don't like to do, but our it feels good to our flesh and we got to deny our flesh. Most of the time we do a good job at it but we want to get it right 100% of the time. And even though we're human, we can't, but we are striving for 100% perfection in Christ Jesus. I said in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to your mighty name. Hmm. Let's read verse 47. Whosoever comes to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like mm, glory to god so now he gonna show you who he is like verse 48 he is like a man which built his house and dig deep and laid his foundation on a rock and when the floods arose this this uh streams built vermintly upon the house the house could not shake mm, and could not shake the house for it was founded upon a rock. Make sure your foundation in Christ Jesus is built upon a rock that you dig deep in, and you laid your foundation upon a rock, a solid rock, not on sand and not on dirt. You built it on a rock. You got a solid foundation in Christ Jesus. So it's easy for you to do justice and judgment and the sacrifice will come hallelujah but what listen you can sacrifice all you want we talked about that but if you don't have justice and judgment it'll do you no good we read that in isaiah 58 when you fasten for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness you're not fasting as you do today as you ought to do today Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. You better make sure your foundation is built upon a rock so you can do justice and judgment. Hallelujah. Even when you have to go against yourself, you want to do justice and judgment according to the word of God. Make sure your foundation is built upon a rock so when storms come, you can truly say, this too shall pass. I'm going to end up and I'm going to keep standing because I built my foundation upon the rock. The word that God put in me is built upon the foundation of the rock. It is on the chief cornerstone of Christ Jesus. That's why, hallelujah, I can do justice and judgment. Hallelujah. I know justice and judgment is better than sacrifice. But I always got to do justice and judgment when I don't want to do it. Why? Because that is the word of God. And he tells you. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Let's go to uh, 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 Matthew chapter 6. 
chapter 24 and 35. Because we're doing justice and, and judgment according to the word of God, according to what he has laid down before us, according to his commandments. Because understand this, heaven and earth going to pass away, but his word. Let's go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So when heaven and earth pass away, and his word won't pass away. The word is only inside of you. That's why you are built upon a, 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 a solid rock, a solid foundation. Hallelujah. You want the word on the inside of you that your, the word is in your bone marrow. That even after 100 years of being dead, they threw a dead man on Elijah's bones, and Elijah's bones still had anointing in them. After a hundred years of being dead, the dead man jumped up because they had forgot where they buried Elijah. And they threw the dead man on Elijah's bones. And because Elijah's bones were still anointed, the dead man got up. Glory to God. And he was able to live another day. Whoo, glory to God. That's why you want to do justice and judgment will help you keep the word of God down on the inside of you. It'll keep you, it'll keep it in your mouth. It'll keep it in your heart. It'll keep it in your spirit. It'll keep it in your mind, in your ear gate, in your eye gate. It'll keep it in your mind. Why do you, as a saint of God, you go to church, you love God, and you are dealing, almost having a nervous breakdown. We talking about elder, uh, 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 mental illness. What about the power of God? Hallelujah. I don't have nothing, no problem with doctors. Some people do need a little more talking to. But my God, what about the anointing and the power in God's word that will get you healed, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Whoo. Mm. Glory, glory, glory. You want to do justice and judgment because we don't know the hour and we don't know the day. So even on our bad day, we want to do justice and judgment because what if God come on your bad day? It ain't the best day for uh, anybody to be around you. Hallelujah. But remember this. And we're going to go uh, stay in chapter 24 of Matthew and go to verse 42. Mm. He said, watch therefore, mm, for ye know not what hour the Lord doeth come. So we got to watch therefore because we don't know what hour the Lord is going to come. That mean, That's why we do our best to live right. Even on our bad days, on our worst days, when we don't feel like being bothered with nobody, you don't want your kids bothering you, you don't want your wife bothering you, you don't want your husband bothering you, you don't want nobody bothering you. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. So listen, saints, whoo, glory. To do justice and judgment is better than sacrifice. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Because yes, you got to sacrifice sometimes. You got to go to church when you don't feel like it. That's part of a sacrifice. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell everybody right now, if your church doors are open, you need to get there. 
If you got a medical problem, that's something different. If you you got a respiratory problem or you just sick, no, you don't need to go. But if your church doors are open, you go to the house of God. Hallelujah. My godmother told me, and it made sense. God made church. So for everybody who's talking about, I don't agree with organized religion, God has made the church. God put the church in order. That's not to say we know men up in church have perverted it. We know they have not done exactly what the word of God said. Hallelujah. But remember, God put the church together for you. That's why he set up the five-fold ministry for you. Hallelujah. Stop talking about organized religion and be saved. Thank God for the pastor. God put him there. He put him there as a shepherd. But you keep your eyes on Christ Jesus and you pray for the leadership in your house. Hallelujah. Talking about the house of God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hey. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> hey. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 20. And let's read verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Now, what did this tell you? A man's going are of, of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? How can you stand your own way? Because the going of a man is of the Lord, which means what? God is ordering and orchestrating your step, telling you what to do, how to do, and what when to do it. So how can you know which way that you're supposed to go? You can only do that and be that way if God is in you and he's speaking to you and you have a sensitive ear to his word. Lord, I want to be more sensitive to your word. I need to more be more sensitive to your will and your way. I need to be more, have more discernment. Hallelujah. I need to know when to speak and when not to speak. Hallelujah. I, I need to know when to be quiet when somebody talking crazy instead of trying to get in the debate or rebuttal every time. I got to know when to speak and when to be quiet. I got to be slow to speak and quick to listen. Hallelujah. Let's go to James. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Whoo! Glory to God. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm. Let's read verse 22 and verse 23. And this will help you to do justice and judgment. It is better to do justice. Let me, let, let's go back and read this real quick. And then we're going to go to James. Let's go back to Proverbs, our base scripture 21 and 3. Proverbs 21 and 3, to do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Now to do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than to do sacrifice. Listen to this. And this is the problem with many a saints. Hmm. It says, but be ye doers of the word. This is James chapter 1. We're going to read verse 22 and 23. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For it is, for if by, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Now he said, for if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, Woo. He is like unto a man beholding his face in a glass. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. 
Mm. Glory, glory, glory. Let's go up to verse 19. This is what I'm looking for. James chapter 1, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. The problem is we ain't swift to hear, swift to speak, uh, 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 slow to wrath. It says, wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. We got to work on that, saints of God. Oh, no, I just got to tell them. I ain't going to let nobody do that to me. I ain't going to let nobody say that to me. Mm -mm. I'm just going to tell them. I'm going to bless them out, as y'all like to say. I'm just going to bless them out. And some of y'all just going to be bold. I'm just going to cuss them out, and I'll go to the altar later. Come on now. To do justice is just to do justice and judgment is more acceptable unto the Lord than sacrifice. So we got to sacrifice and be slow to speak, slow to hear, and uh, slow to speak, slow to uh, uh, slow to wrath. Let me read this because I ain't quoting it right. Hallelujah. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. That's James chapter 1, verse 19. Get that one through your head, because that's something that we all need to work on. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, be, mm, let every man be swift to hear. That means you need to be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. You hear one word and you just going off. Abba, you ain't let them explain. Well, I heard what you said. No, you didn't. I said one word and now you just going out, running your mouth. I, well, I know what you're about to say. No, you don't. Glory to God. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you for joining us today. Again, this is the Heart of David International Ministries. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. Glory to your name. Remember the subject today. What is the subject? It's more acceptable. I'm sorry. The subject. Woo! Glory to God. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. That is our subject today. It's coming out of Proverbs chapter 21, verse three, to do justice and judgment. I pray that you wrote those scriptures down, study those scriptures. Again, if you have any questions, email me at hodim1117 at gmail.com. Or you can go to the website and email me there at hodim.org. Also, if you would like to leave a love offering, that's also hodim.org. I thank you for everybody who is praying for the, for the ministry, praying for this vision, praying for the leadership. Hallelujah. We're praying that our prayers will shake heaven, just like David's prayer shook heaven, just like Elijah's prayer shook heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. When your prayers can shake heaven to where God is in the throne room and he said, I hear your prayers. When your prayers can shake heaven where the sundial do not move during the war because you have prayed and said, Lord, let the sun stay where it's at so we can get this job done. We're talking about the power of prayer. Your real relationship with prayer. The prayer, hallelujah, that Elijah prayed that the, the widow's son uh, 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 life came back into him. Whoo, glory to God. Hallelujah. The prayer, mm, whoo, glory to God. The prayer that Jesus prayed and Lazarus rose up after four days. Mm, the prayers of the saints. Mm. When Paul was in, when Peter was in prison, they prayed and the chains fell off of him and he walked out. That's power in prayer. Whoo, glory to God. Mm, 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 mm. Power in prayer to where the principalities got a, 
acknowledge you. Whether principalities have to move, hallelujah. Whether rulers of the darkness have to move, hallelujah, because there's power in your prayer. Mm, glory to God. Power in your prayer that the lame will walk and power in your prayer that the blind eyes shall be and will be open. Hallelujah. Power in your prayer. Hey, glory to God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Again, I thank you again for joining us. I look forward to seeing you at our Tuesday uh, corporate prayer is five at 6 p.m. Pacific time and is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Remember, email me if you want prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer for healing or whatever it is in the name of Jesus, because we believe in the power of prayer. Glory to God. And it shall and will work. Hey. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you. I will see you Tuesday for our corporate prayer. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen.